subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Today on Lady Mary Bath, we are visiting Angel's Attic Resale Shop, operated by Cypress Assistance Ministries, and all proceeds benefit the community. I've heard great things about this shop, a brand new building. Let's go in and see what it's all about. I'm excited to visit Angel's Attic Resale. I love their mission. They provide emergency financial support, food educational opportunities, and job readiness support for those who need it most. And that's where I like to spend my money. They've got lots of clothing, housewares, and some great gifts. Here's the wedding area that they are just now setting up and people are buying things faster than they can actually uh, move them around and create a display seems like they've had a large donation of some wedding themed items. They do a great job of presenting items. Their store manager Antiqua is absolutely on top of things and really enjoy her store and her staff. Now we'll get back to the wedding in a second. Let's take a look at their sales today. Lamps, kitchen essentials. Now they have the wedding ready and you'll see that some of the items have sold before they could even complete their display some deals to be had, and Elvis is in the building. And you know me, I'm always looking for gifts and housewares and things like that, and I'm eyeing the ribbon. Even though I don't need wedding themed items, I can use ribbon for so many different things, including gifts and packaging. And this ring bearer pillow looks like it's been made with lots of love. And I'm all about dishes. Let's take a look at these. They're false graph. I recognize that design. Perfect for spring and summer. It's the perennial pattern. Perennials must be a collection by Falsgraf. And I like the gardening look there and the green. It's very soothing and calming. And speaking of green, I'm liking this bit of chinoiserie as a spoon holder for dessert forks, that sort of thing, for tea time. And for $1.50, you can't beat that and some Texas items, because after all, we're very proud of our state. And you never know what you'll see in a resale shop. Uh, this photograph, I don't know if it has great historical significance, but there is lots of information about it. And I love that from 1921, how neat. These silver plated chargers are quite the find for $10 for a set of six. Let's turn it over and look for the stamp. And the sticker tells us that they are made by the Goatinger Company. That is a more affordable silver plated line. And I think that's a great deal. And that sign would be nice for a kitchen, a little snack area. I like collector's plates because I think that they tell a story. Maybe you know someone from Mississippi, wouldn't that be a fun plate to give them? And for $1.50, you can't beat that. It could even be a focal point and a bookshelf or display, some type of decor. And this transferware is quite interesting and it is made by Wedgwood. It's the Mayflower. It does have some crazing on it. Probably wouldn't serve food on it, but again, it's a collector's plate, so you could definitely display that. I'm putting it in my cart as a possibility today. And here's some more plates. That's a church. I'm sure that it, if it exists, it's probably much larger today. They probably have a new building. You never know if you'll come across something that is personal to you. And this is sort of a chinoiserie, a Japanese themed item that was popular in about the 1940s and 50s. My grandmother had a cookie jar that was similar to this. And this pie plate is a pattern that I've seen before. Let's turn it over. White rose. I think that's a really interesting piece. And these rimmed soups would be great with creamware, or even white dishes, it has a platinum band on it for $18. And they're from England. 
How about that? It's a nice spring look. And if you want a complete set, they have you covered here with a summer and hummingbird pattern, very tropical, looks like Hawaii. These are made in China and it is stoneware. And here's a set of dishes that was interesting to me. I had never seen this pattern before, so of course I had to turn it over. And it is made in Sweden. And there's the sugar bowl. It's a nice coffee set too. You don't really find dishes too often in this area made in Sweden. So that was very unusual. And these plates, wouldn't they look great with white dishes? It reminds me of Linux. It is Studio Nova. You never know what you'll find at a resale shop. And this is definitely new territory for me here at Angel's Attic. This is a sweet set of dishes from Sweden. It's handmade, it's the Jenny pattern. And isn't that lovely? It would be great for tea time. And just absolutely thrilled to find this. I'm not sure that I will get it, but I'll reach out to a friend who likes to collect things from Sweden. And they also have a set of four lovely dessert or salad plates. Aren't these fun? It's from Studio Nova. It's stoneware. It's the garden bloom pattern. And for $4, you could have some cute plates to add to your white dishes. Now we're finding some vintage items from the 1950s. These are made in California. And for $12, you could have a really neat set for baking. Look at that back stamp. That is quite something. Um, perfect for individual serving. And these leaf dishes are from the 1950s. It's that typical aqua color that has become popular again. Those would be nice for serving. And the Rio Grande from Dallas, Texas. These are oven proof. And again, a beautiful back stamp. I love all that information. And that could create a nice set for your entertaining. And this coffee and creamer on a tray. Look at that back stamp. It is from the German Democratic Republic, which dates it between 1949 and 1990. And I've come across a few things made in the GDR over the years, but I have to say it is quite rare. And I really do think that that is um, a special find. And you have all of that history right there on the back stamp. And they've got lots of pillows. I wanted to give you an overview of the houseware section, lots of decor and tabletop. And then we can take a closer look at some of the other special pieces that I have found today. And their assortment is ever changing. And there's really something for every season, every style of entertaining. I'm always gravitating towards the silver plated dishes. This is made by the Toll Company. And I think that would be great for holding a collection, maybe seashells on your coffee table. It does have a little bit of pitting, but you can definitely still get a lot of life out of that piece. And this is a very special find, $6, but I actually got 20% off. I'll tell you about that in a minute. And I featured this on my Easter and everyday table in a recent segment. And I encourage you to go take a look and see what I did with that. And these dessert plates would be really fun if you added to maybe white or yellow dishes. I can't really read the back stamp, but they are quite interesting. And for $3, this cake plate is something that reminds me of childhood. My mother had the same one. And you really can't buy disposable for any cheaper, especially with the 20% off we're getting today. And when you're taking a cake or brownies to your neighbor or to a church potluck, then at least you don't have to worry if you don't get it back. The wheat was very popular in the 50s and 60s too. And here are a couple of true treasures that I found today. I can't wait to tell you more about these two pieces. And I have big plans for using these in entertaining. And this Wilton Armitel tray is especially a nice find. Ended up getting it for $8 after my discount. Let's take a closer look at these pieces. thrilled to find these two silver pieces. This is actually metal and it's the acanthus pattern from Wilton Armitel. I have several of these in a slightly different design. This is one of the old school patterns 
And then a silver plated chip and dip, which can be used for many different purposes. And it's $6. These are both amazing finds. Oh, I'm so excited about those two finds. And let's take a look at some of the other dishes that we didn't get to see earlier. This is a pattern that I'm thinking was probably from the early 80s. It looks to be made in Japan. Let's take a closer look at that stoneware. 43 pieces for $110. And remember, uh, you can get 20% off. And I'll tell you how that works. You can buy a discount card that lasts the entire year. It's $20 and you get 20% off of all regular priced items. And this is neat, made in France, and it was from TJ Maxx for $20. That would be a nice piece to add to your plain decor and dishes for maybe a buffet to put a bottle of wine in or just use it for ice. And these decorative items I think will not last very long because they're well priced and especially with the original price underneath. And it was $49.99. And that would be a really nice focal point even just to put on a shelf. They have home appliances. There's just so much to see here. I wanted to give you a quick overview. And this tray up top is also vintage. And I'm thinking that's from the 50s. And that could be maybe sort of a charcuterie type tray for modern day use. Now we get a behind the scenes tour. Joseph Davis will show us around. He is the manager of donation and facilities operations and he'll show us all about how they bring items in, clean them, prepare them. This is a great project piece. I think that could be painted. You could really make that uh, useful. The Duncan Five table looks like it was maybe made into an early American type piece with that avocado color. And I just love to see all of these giving hearts come together with the volunteers to prepare these donated items from the community. You'll see artwork, even yard art. Here's a pink flamingo University of Texas logoed item. You never know what you'll find. And they really do have something for your entire home and wardrobe. And if you're looking for vintage pieces, this crock pot is definitely in that category. And lighting wear, lots of seasonal items as well. So much to discover. And here they are preparing shoes and accessories. And here's a great gift. Look at this pashmina, love that. And I think that's also good to put on an end table with a lamp, a stack of books, you could use that as a dresser scarf. And these bandanas make great napkins. And something for the kids too. Lots of toys that are coming in. And their assortment changes every day, so I highly recommend that you pop in often. And this pillow I especially like with a collie dog. And some great seasonal items. You know, you think it's just November, December when thrift stores get their Christmas items in, but no, it's really all year. So that's a great opportunity to shop. This is a vintage Pyrex bowl. Look at that gold detail on it. And there's the back stamp. And this piece reminds me of RS Prussia. Look at those roses. That would be pretty just propped up on an easel or you could serve tea cakes on it. I don't see anything on the back stamp. That looks to be probably RS Germany or Prussia. And there's so many great serving plates here and decorative accents. It is certainly a treasure trove of items. And remember Google Lens. I do get a lot of questions on social media, how to identify something that you've purchased. You take a picture, go to Google Lens, and it'll tell you all about it. Like this carnival glass candy dish and made by the Indiana Glass Company. That would be a really good find. Here's a Bell collection. They do get a lot of estates that are donated after the estate sale. This Shannon Crystal vase that Joseph is holding is quite a lovely piece. And here is a punch bowl. You know, I love punch bowls. They're so practical for fruit salads, for just so many different items. And you find these a lot at thrift stores. That's a pressed glass EAPG. Better Homes and Gardens. That's one of my favorite cookbooks. I have the 1968 edition from my mother's wedding year, and I covet that. 
This is even older. It's from 1953. They give you lots of tips on table setting, of course, recipes. And I think that's just one of the best cookbooks that's ever been put out with our traditional recipes. And this is sort of that moss rose pattern you find by so many manufacturers. This happens to be made in Japan. And that is a nice set. It does have some crazing, but otherwise it's in great condition. I love the shape of this teacup. No back stamp on that. And I do see some Haviland Blue Garland, which is Replacements Limited's number one pattern. This is the green depression glass and they block optic design. Be perfect for a cup of fruit or even for serving cookies if you only have one. That's a traditional bisque type porcelain that was popular at the turn of the century. And this, I would say, is from the 1960s, the pastel pattern from Mikasa. I have not seen that, but my parents married in 1968, and yellow was definitely a popular color then. And this metalware, I believe they said, was donated by an area hotel. And these are great serving pieces. This will be on the floor soon. Love that. And look at this chinoiserie. Even though that has a crack in it, you could definitely turn it around. Retirement fund, love that. And keep in mind, these are items donated from the community. You never know what you'll see. And these have been given a second life. And all the proceeds benefit the community and help those in the area to become self-sufficient. I'm glad to give you a behind the scenes tour here at Cypress Assistance Ministries, their Angel's Attic resale shop. And if it's decorated or celebrated, they have it. This is their seasonal section, and they do a really good job of taking in all the donations. Some actually come from estate sales, and they wash them and curate them so that they can place them on the floor. And this pillow I really like. I remember when it was brand new at Marshall's. It's got my favorite collie dog. So maybe I'll take this home today. I love vintage Halloween. There's some really neat seasonal items here that you could add to your decor. And I'm definitely taking this pillow home. They let me have it for $7. Here's a signed Astros baseball. That is perfect for the collector. And they have some treasures here they're showing me that they just got in. Some trains. I guess that is a, a company that is well known and collectible. I'm not into trains, but I do see them occasionally. And here's a toy box that looks like it's probably Pottery Barn. You could repaint that repurpose it. Now we're back in the store. You've had a, a bit of a peek into the back operations. And let's see what else we have not yet discovered. Lots of glassware. There's so much to see, I'm sure I'm missing some of it. My grandma had this pattern and this really brings back warm memories. Gold standard. I think she collected hers from grocery store purchases. Here's a 25th anniversary console bowl. Perfect centerpiece. And I'm about two years too late for that one when I had my big celebration. It's a great piece. And just some background on that I learned from the Houston Glass Show is that the manufacturer of the glass was not the company that did the sterling silver overlay. That was sent to a separate group. I love the vintage luggage there. Got some nice tote bags, handbags. And I think that's probably from about the 1960s. It's a vinyl. Could have been from the early 70s. I need vitamin C. You could break that up and use that as two different gifts. You could grab the luggage and go on a cruise. This would be perfect for the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. They do have some well-timed items here. With the handbags. You can make Quite a statement at the rodeo. And they're very affordable too, $25. And the manager tells me that they sometimes get Brahmin handbags in. She saw mine in the cart today as I was shopping. And it's just, you know, really have to go often. And I plan to go back very soon because I would like to find a Brahmin handbag at their Angel's Attic resale. I like this necklace, it's made of seashells be perfect for a summer dress. And here are some necklaces from Chico's. Always look for a label. 
and there's something to go with every outfit. I wasn't focusing on clothes and jewelry today, but I wanted to give you a little peek at that. And I see some rosaries here. And of course, this catches my eye. It is Wedgwood Queensware. And it has a bit of a texture and pattern to it. It is embossed. And that's quite a nice set. It's not something that's still made. And the pieces that they have are in perfect condition. Look at that. Wouldn't that be beautiful pairing it with just about any pattern that you have in your collection? Beautiful back stamp. I think the next time I pop in, I will definitely focus on some clothing, but today I was mostly looking for gifts and tableware. They have children's, men's, ladies, and lots of decorative pillows. Great for setting up a kid in a college dorm. And the linens, that was quite a nice surprise. I think you really need to spend some time and go through these. You can't just look on the surface. And napkins are great, not just for serving your guests at the table. You know I'm grabbing these $3, the blue and white. Love that. It's almost a batik pattern. And this is vintage, five napkins for $2.50. Of course, I'm getting my 20% off. But if you only find one or two napkins such as this, think about how you can use it to line a gift basket and not buy the expensive filler that just gets thrown away. You could use it in a bread basket. You don't necessarily have to have a set of four or six for it to make sense for you. Here's some table runners, placemats, and I'm digging deep to see what else is there. Those are really nice. I don't use placemats quite as often as I do table runners and tablecloths. So instead I'll focus on those categories. And look at this, $2 for a table cover that's been machine embroidered. And this for $2, it actually, when I got it home, it has rabbits in the design, which is perfect for Easter and spring. really happy with my purchases today in the linen section and look at this fuchsia table runner it's a very short one but for two dollars I could do a lot with that and some more jewelry more the fashion jewelry definitely want to come back and spend more time and look at the fabulous shoes And this bag reminds me of some design that I've seen on gift cards and magnets and that sort of thing. It is a Lara Birch. And for $12, I think that's a steal. They're usually a lot more expensive than that. That houndstooth coat is quite nice. And they do display their pricing, so it's not a guessing game. And very affordable. And remember that 20% discount card for $20 and you get to use it the entire year. And that makes everything more affordable, certainly. And if you have an evening out, you've got shoes and a handbag right there. It's perfect for prom season too. There's no reason to pay retail, especially when you're outfitting a high school kid for their big event. And look at these Wedgwood bowls. This is the Sarah's garden pattern. And I will tell you all about that in just a minute. It's not a pattern that's still made. And this is quite a find. They have books, DVDs, some odds and ends there, including some baby cribs. And I want to show you this seating. It was donated by a luxury high rise in Houston. And wouldn't that be a focal point in your entryway? Found some great items today at Angel's Attic Resale. Some beautiful linens. This would be perfect for a tea table. And this would also go nicely with Sarah's Garden. This is a pattern that Wedgwood developed for Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York. And I was with Waterford Wedgwood during that time and she was on tour. Isn't that fun? I think that could be great for some white dishes. Perfect for cereal in the morning. And these are all my finds. I especially am pleased with that Wilton Armatel Acanthus platter and the Collie pillow the silver plated chip and dip, and so many other great items. So many great finds today, and with those silk flowers too, that's something that I later used in one of my centerpieces. 
and the napkins, the table runner. These are all great finds and I see some great gift opportunities. Underneath you'll see a tablecloth I didn't quite feature. I brought that to Germany for my mother-in-law. So I've already gifted one of these pieces and the Wedgwood was definitely a find. I'm so glad that you came along with me today for Angel's Attic, the Cypress Assistance Ministries resale shop. Found some great deals. I hope you can pop in soon. And I definitely took advantage of the 20 for 20. I bought a discount card for $20. It gives me 20% off of all items throughout the year. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Beth. Elevate your everyday with resale shopping.